In fact, it has become so terrible today that we call, we are call ourselves Christians, have become enemies of ourselves. He says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for what? Brethren. To what? Dwell in unity. To dwell together. Christians, true Christians, I'm not talking about those that some other things. Christians today, we have become the enemies of ourselves. It is either my denomination, my church, and not my church. Many of us Christians, hello, many of us Christians, if you are not under our denomination, you are not going to heaven. Any other denomination, they will go to hellfire. Just some, when those guys down there came, they carried the mindset that they were the best kind of Christians, that every other person did not know what they were doing, and that if you are not part of them, hello, they will all go to every, if you are not part of them, we are going to hellfire. And we have become what? Enemies of ourselves. I want you to turn your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, 4. The Bible says from verse 4. For why I for why one said, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos. Now, did you see something there? For why one said, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos. Are ye not Cana? Paul was writing to the Corinthian church. And he was telling them, look at you people. First Corinthians chapter four, 3, verse 4. He was writing to the Corinthian church and he was telling them and saying, what's wrong with you people? Are you guys not operating in carnality? You are having division among yourself. One is saying that he's of a poor. He's of poor. And another is saying he's of what? Apollos. Today, so many of us Christians, we will carry, I am the, I, I am, uh, that the, this person's son. I am this, so I am that. He says, What are you not what? Kana. Are you not Kana? Are you not fleshy for you to be thinking of that? Verse 5. He says, Who then is Paul? And who is Apollos? But ministers by whom <coughs> ye believed, even as the Lord gave, it, gave to every man. I have planted Apollos water, but God gave what? The increase. He says, it is very foolish. It's disunity for me and you to be fighting among ourselves, Christians. There's so much of disunity among brethren, among believers today. I used to hear in those days, they would say, the Catholics don't marry the Anglicans. The Anglicans don't marry this. Nonsense. He says that, well, behold, how good and what, how pleasant it is that what brethren dwell together. The mentality, it is only my church that is going to heaven. I'm sorry to shock you. Hello, hear me. You will not get to heaven and you will find the name of your church there. Jesus did not die so that me and you will come and start fighting. Is This is our church or this is not our church. Or it is our Jew that is the original Jew. He is the one that is sent from God. Every other one is nonsense. Jesus did not die that what Me and you come and start fighting for that. There's so much of disunity among us. You will find Christians today, even in the same denomination, they are still enemies of themselves. In the same denomination, they do not see eyeball to eyeball. You will see Christians today, biological brother, if they go home, they can never eat from the same food, the same plate. Enemity. There's so much of disunity. The glory of unity. You know, we do the mistake of going to fight, sometimes fighting the devil alone. Please turn your Bibles with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 6, 12. Ephesians chapter 6, 12. What does the Bible say? It says, For we, what's it? Pura. Is it not? Is it not? For, did he say for me? Did he say for I? Did he say for he? Did he say for she? But for what? We. Together. Do you get it? We wrestle not against what? Flesh and blood. But what? Against principally. Principal what? Did he say principality? But what? Principalities. Plural. Against powers, plural, against the rulers of darkness of this world, plural, 
against spiritual wickedness in high places. Pura. So when we are in unity, another blessing is that what? We successfully defeat the devil. We sometimes make the mistake. We go fighting the devil alone. Mm, it is not. Look at what we are fighting. They are all what? Pura. And then you go singly. The Bible was not foolish when it's, it was stated there that one of you shall chase what? A thousand. But two shall chase what? <laughs> it was not foolish. Yes, there is a, an extent one shall go. But when it is two, can you minus it? 10,000 minus 1,000. This is, do you see the difference? It did not say 2,000. It did not say 3,000. But what? 10. The fight that we have, hello, the battle that we have is not against one, but it's against a congr- a, 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 a congregation. So when we are together, we successfully fight the devil. That's why I tell you sometimes, pray for me. It's not that I cannot pray for myself. I can pray. But then, when we are praying for one thing, there is always what? Victory. There is always what? Victory. That's what the Bible says that what? Where two of you or three of you bind where? On earth is what? Bound in heaven. You do need to work together. That is why if there is a problem in the family, hello, as the man, don't take it alone. Gather your wife. Gather your children. Everybody will be praying this thing until the victory comes. He says, I want, we, not me, not I, not he, not she, but what? We, 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 don't battle alone. Don't battle alone. Have what? A team with you. The first thing you can have is what? Your family. He says that what? Can one person make heat? It is only two. When they lie together, that what? They make what? Heat. He says that what? Iron sharpened what? Iron. You don't fight alone. We cannot what? Wrestle what? Alone. We cannot successfully defeat the devil single-handedly. We come as what? A team. We come what? As a team. Even the children of Israel. Hello, hear me, please. Children of Israel, when David, Goliath, have you forgotten? Even as though David killed Goliath, yet the army of Israel still raced down to kill the remaining what? Philistines. Have you forgotten about Moses and Aaron and the fight where Moses was upon the mountain? Hello? As his hands are raised up, the children of Israel are winning. But immediately his hands come down, the children of Israel were losing. And his hand became so weak that they had to use that Aaron and her had to come to help him to support the hand so that it will remain up and the ones that are fighting down will be winning. If Moses thought that what his hand would just be up, he would put his hand up below. A time was going to come that his hand would be weak. And if there was no her and Aaron by his side, his hand will fall and the children of Israel will lose. And if the children of Israel were fighting on the ground, felt that they didn't need the hands of Moses up in the air to fight, and they were fighting alone, it means that they would have been defeated. So they needed the two of them to what? Win the battle. It is not I, it is what? We. As Moses' hands were raised up there with all and Aaron helping him to support it, Joshua and the rest were fighting there. It is we. When we come together in unity, we successfully defeat the devil. The broomstick, the broom. If I, if the broom were to come at you to, uh, in your, to your eyes, who dares? How you don't dare keep your face? Is it not? You, you must find a way to block it or run away. Because if you miss one, the other one might get you. The broom. But when it's just a broomstick, if it is coming alone, you can easily break it. But when it is the broom coming at you, if you dodge one, you may not dodge the next one. The next one may be able to poke your eye. So we cannot fight alone. Hallelujah.